I can still remember Pele. Yes, Pele. Renowned as one of, if not the best soccer players of all time, he and Trump have a similarity. They both kick balls, just differing sports. You know, he kicks the ball out of the rough so many times, the caddies call him Pele. It's true. As it is written in the book to his interview on CNN, Riley writes, he kicks the ball out of the rough so many times, the caddies call him Pele. He took a gimme chip in with me. We're playing a bet. I'm in there for a par at five. He's off the green in four. He says, I guess that makes this good. He hasn't even got to the green. I said, did you just take a gimme chip in? Well, yeah, I'd have made that. The president heard while he was on the golf course, stayed on the golf course, we're told. Uh, we don't know anything about how the golf, there he goes. It's almost too perfect. Joe Biden has been elected president of the United States. When Joe Biden wins the presidency. He was playing golf. The word we have is that he was playing golf when when it happened. And this is some video of the president out playing golf. Donald Trump is doing, well, something. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. After he and his supporters, including elected officials, bashed this Howard University alum. I'm like, Joe, can you get it out? Let's get the words out, Joe. You're I think stuttering. that you were mocking his stutter. Idea. And attacked a man who battled a lifelong stutter. Give Kamala Harris a nice Trump train welcome. Uh, get out there. Let's show them how strong Texas still is as Trump country. The intimidation tactics. When you see these animals literally taking over our cities. The bigoted language used to describe Black Lives Matter protests. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify. When the grown-ups do the talking. The president is still on the golf course at his golf club in Sterling, Virginia. You see some video of the president uh, playing there. He golfs, selling his supporters lie. He played more golf last year than Tiger Woods. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. We have to work. After lie. Because I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf and believe me. After lie. Remember when his brother Robert passed away? Donald Trump was playing a round of golf quite a family man. When longtime Arizona Senator and war hero John McCain was honored at the National Cathedral, Trump did his two favorite things, spent hours on Twitter and golfing at one of his failing properties. When freedom fighter and civil rights icon John Lewis passed away, Trump intentionally stayed away from honoring this hero. Instead, he made biatch boy Lindsey Graham pick up his golf ball on the links. It tells you everything you need to know about Donald Trump. So when I see headlines like these on the day Donald Trump loses the presidency, I fail to be shocked and amazement. As one man put it, it is what it is. Exactly. And the reason it is what it is, is because of a few variables. The first, Trump owns some of the world's top golf courses. So the suggestion that he's a cheat really irks him. A two in one here. While he does own properties, they are in short broke as a joke. At Trump Doral, the property has gobbled up $162 million in losses, especially after he burned through another $213 million in upkeep, a $125 million mortgage balance. The property also has a $125 million mortgage balance coming due in three years. His three courses in Europe, two in Scotland and one in Ireland, have reported a combined $63.6 million in losses. Overall, since 2000, Mr. Trump has reported losses of $315.6 million at the golf courses that are his prized possessions. As of 2015, he had accumulated 15 golf resorts, and it's difficult to find one that's actually operating at a profit. Pair all this information with the novel coronavirus, you know, that thing the president called a hoax and did not care to shield us from? Well, it's costing Trump properties over $1 million daily in lost revenue. That's right. What's costing him is something that couldn't have hit as hard as he allowed. Genius businessman this guy is. So he golfs. And guess what? He's going to golf some more because the chickens are coming home to roost. The Trump properties are failing. And what do you know? A government handout just ain't going to save him for much longer. My prediction, he barely steps foot 
in the White House, sucking taxpayers dry to pump into his failing properties. It's the 18th hole of this man's political career, and it's the only play he has. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.